Salons and barbershops previously couldn't open up in any county, but now they're able to statewide. However, they will change the way they do business. Hairstylists will need to wear masks and gloves while cutting hair because they won't be able to maintain a social distance and their occupancy will be limited to half capacity. Fox 18's Chase Davis reports how they'll do things now. It's about time. That's the first thing I thought. That's what Joseph McLemore says came to his mind when Governor Kim Reynolds decided to ease restrictions on barber shops and salons today. McLemore has been cutting hair for over 50 years, but says that customers will have to make some adjustments on the way in to Joe's barber shop. All the uh, customers that come in, they'll have to have uh, hand sanitizer, wipe their hands, so forth. And yeah, and we won't have a crowd. We'll have people distance themselves. No more than four people at one time in the barbershop. Gray & Co's salon and spa just opened up in Bettendorf in January. They'll be requiring people with appointments to wear masks when they come in to get their hair done. And they're also going to have some workflow changes. So we are actually going to have one person that her job solely is to sanitize. Um, so we can be with our clients one on one. So her job is to come in after us, sanitize all the stations, sanitize the shampoo bowls. Zaruba's salon and day spa services will be having people wait in their cars before coming in for their appointments. And they'll also be making adjustments to their appointment list. We're not going to take a whole lot of Saturday appointments at first. We're going to try to get in. I have a 90 plus client and I'm going to be booking her first thing Saturday morning. So she will be the first client in the door and sh then she will be able to leave before any other clients um, are able to come in through the salon. I'm Chase Davis for Fox 18 News.